Vibriosis is a bacterial infection that is uh, acquired either through contaminated water, uh, when someone enters the water with a, an open cut or um, tattoo or body piercing, or it can be um, a person can be infected by eating contaminated uh, shellfish. So in the summer of 2023, um, Long Island and Connecticut have experienced several uh, infections, some of which have been uh, fatal. Um, it's not known what the underlying, uh, if any, conditions are of those patients to keep their privacy. We always see a few Vibrio patients um, every year because of living on Long Island Sound. So when someone eats contaminated shellfish, and that's usually uh, raw or undercooked shellfish or things that are contaminated with the juices from the shellfish, um, the most common symptoms are gastrointestinal, um, watery diarrhea, cramps, um, chills, some fever perhaps, um, a general sense of being unwell. Uh, for the vast majority of people that are not immune compromised or aren't on immune compromising medications, um, that may be all that they experience and they may not even seek attention for it. If you become um, sick from diarrhea and it lasts you know, longer than you you can you normally uh, anticipate from your prior experience, or you're unable to keep up with the fluids that you are otherwise losing, uh, you should seek medical care, especially if you have, in fact, uh, participated in some, you know, uh, raw oysters or clams, uh, or have gone swimming uh, or walking in some brackish water. Um, if you have a cut, and we've all had cuts at this, you know, by this time in our lives, you kind of know how you heal. If in fact you're not healing like you thought you would normally heal, or you start to see it becoming red, hot, warm, tender, or red streaks emanating from the wound, you should absolutely present yourself for emergency care and make sure that you tell your healthcare provider what you've done or what you might have been exposed to. If you are lightheaded, dizzy, feel um, faint, if, you, if you're sick, if you start to develop blisters, that especially if they enlarge, they're called bullae. Sometimes they may look like they have some blood inside or some murky fluid, but they may be clear. Again, these may be signs of systemic infection with Vibrio, and it is important for you to not delay in getting attention. The other thing is if you have a wound and the wound seems to hurt out of proportion to what you see, that can be a subtle sign of necrotizing fasciitis, which can be life-threatening and requires attention right away. These are rare. Uh, as Vibrio infections in general are rare, but we are in a time of the year when the water temperatures are ideal for Vibrio to thrive and people want to cool off and go in the water. Uh, so you need to be attend you need to pay attention. You need to know what your status is and maybe have a discussion with your primary care provider to make sure that you know what to do for yourself should these occur for you.